Gonna have a go at it. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. Those yellow bellies, it. Look at the size of him. It's an absolute beautiful summer's morning once again. Probably about 22, 23 degrees. The sun is just coming up. And have a look where I am. Beautiful creek. Runs all the way down there. All the way as far as the eye can see. There's probably a good stretch of about 200 metres of water here. And I'm going to string the traps all the way along. We'll throw a trap every 20 metres or so. And then we're going to head over to the dam. I'm actually out near where that clear water dam is. And we're going to go and see if we can catch a perch or two. I've got some killer bait today. Check that out. Got to give a thumbs up to me bait supplier. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. It's going to get put to good use. Trap number one can go right there. Trap number two. This trap, I'll try and get out there near those sticks. Beautiful. Trap number four. I reckon this probably looks like the best spot right here. And this last trap, trap number five, you can go right in the middle. And I've been out on the kayak this morning. I'll give you a look at that. I did catch a couple of fish. They weren't what we were after, but we'll check it out anyway. Oh, got a bite. Something's having a go at it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, yes. Nice fish. Nice. Oh, carp. Dirty little carp. Oh, yes. Oh, holy dooly. Oh, another carp. You bugger. He's going to make a flipping mess, too. Oh dear. That's not what we wanted again. <laughs> God damn it. So I've actually decided to come around to the far side of the dam. I started off over there, but the wind's blowing straight at me. So I've come around here, so the wind's blowing away from me. I'll give you a bit of a look where I am. There's a heap of snags in the water here. Looks like a bit of a nice clear spot. Some kabungi weed all along this edge. Looks like a prime little spot. We'll get the bobber in the water and see how we go. Oh, we've got something on there, I think. Yes, got him. Oh, no. Almost at him. Oh, there was just a bust up out there, right where I had me bobber before. I'll get it back out and... Hopefully something big comes along and grabs it. Yes, got him that time. Oh, he feels fairly decent too. What the heck is that? That's a massive spangled perch. You beauty. I'll take that. Oh. And he almost got back. That's a whopper of a spangled perch. I'll take that. I didn't actually bring anything to keep him in, but what I'll do is I'll just sit my net down there and just sit him in the water. We'll get this line back out here. If I can get three or four of them, I'll be happy. And almost instantly. Another one, straight up. Oh yes, about the same size too. Oh, he's a bit smaller, this one. That one's probably a bit small, but I'll keep him. And if we get bigger, I'll let him go again. And basically, as soon as that worm's hitting the water, they're smashing it. Oh yeah. Oh, he feels a little bit bigger, this fella. Oh yes, another good one. You beauty. Another beauty and just knocked all my worms over. And he's off the hook. Another nice one. You little ripper. That's a nice for a spangly. And what I'm going to do, there's two really nice ones there now, so I'll let that little one go. 
but I still want to, I'd like three or four of them nice ones. Oh, this one feels better. Oh, it's because it's a bloody carp. Little carp. I was hoping that was a spangled then, the weight in it. Obviously not. I've made my way down to the creek. It's getting a bit hot now. These traps have literally been in for probably a good two hours, uh, maybe even two and a half hours. So we'll get these traps in and see how many we got. I've probably been spruiking them up and we'll end up with nothing now. Um, probably could have went up there a bit further with one, but anyway, we'll get them in and see what happens. Oh, not a lot. They've completely eaten the bait out of there. I wouldn't mind betting there's been a heap in there and they've eaten all the bait and then got back out again. That bait's completely gone. Look, no bait at all. Absolutely gone. There's two really nice ones there that are coming with me. Have a go at that for a perfect specimen. Absolutely beautiful. So there was nine in that trap, but I wouldn't mind betting that there was a heap in there and they've all um, got back out, uh, had a feed and buggered off again. I probably should have been checking them after half an hour, I reckon. Oh yeah, there's quite a few in there, I can tell you. Have a go at this fella. He's got one of his claws that been ripped off. He's too nice of a yabby to let go. And he's a male. Another really nice, clean little fella. Another male. There's probably two in there that I'd keep. That fella in the corner. And this big fella around here. And it's not because they're huge jabbies. Just that they're nice and clean. And the last trap coming in. Oh, I just seen one flipping back out of the trap then. And the bait's completely gone again. They've eaten the bait completely out of this trap as well. I reckon I've probably left them too long. You've got two really nice ones. And all the rest of them can go back. Not a bad morning, I'd say. I reckon we might even head out the lake and cook them up. Oh, that's the perfect way to end a good day, I reckon. Quick dip. It's absolutely bloody beautiful in here this afternoon. Check this out. Almost got the lake to myself. There's about two boats here, which is um, pretty unheard of in the middle of the school holidays. And the water's absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's nothing better than a good swim after being in the sun for so long. I've got the yabbies ready to go. What we're going to do is throw these on the pan first. Nice hot pan. I've had these on just long enough to get a good sear on one side. So what I've got here is butter with a heap of minced garlic in it. And what I'll do is I'll just put a dollop in each one. Just like that. And I'll go through and do all them. I'm just gonna need two hands to do it, that's all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ain't fit for a king. Even got a bit of grass in there. That's for a flavor. Bit of grass in there is always good with the abbeys. Makes them authentic. And we've got our little perch fillets here. Actually get a bit of meat off them little perch. A lot of people dismiss them, but um, a lot of the time when you catch them, they're only this big. When you can get them sort of 10, 12 inches long, uh, absolutely beautiful. I reckon probably the best freshwater fish out. And I'm just going to sit them there. I've turned the heat down a little bit and let them marinate through for 10 minutes or so, I reckon. And what I've actually done, I've, these big nippers, I've cracked the claw and put a bit of the butter and garlic on top so it melts through the meat. Ooh, that looks good. They're smoking hot now. What we'll do, 
throw a dollop of our butter on there, the garlic. Quickly throw our perch fillets on. Ooh hoo hoo. Now these perch fillets, they will only take a couple of minutes. And I like to overcook stuff. Then on top of our fillet, we're just gonna add a heap of that garlic butter. I've probably overdone it a bit with the garlic butter on that perch, but you only live once. I bet you're here to taste this one. Check this out. Ooh hoo hoo. Cooked to perfection. Look at that for a lovely meat. Absolutely beautiful. I can't help myself, I've got to try this perch first. It's still a bit hot. Mm. Oh, that just melts in your mouth. Just melting in your mouth, look at that. Mm. I reckon that has got to be one of the best eating fish. Even a big cod or a big yellow belly, I don't think compares to um, one of those. And get them about, like I said, get them about 12 inches long, you get a fair bit of meat off them. And it's absolutely just beautiful white buttery meat. We better give our yabbies a go that garlic butter have a go at that for a perfect bit of meat it's not dry at all oh. I don't know what's better anyway we'll leave it there don't forget hit the subscribe button if you haven't already if you have already thanks a lot um, if you want to check out another video check out another video or hit the little button down there and subscribe we'll catch you later